this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a fade in def animation with its own def sequence. Let me show you an example. As you can see, I got teleported in a black room, it fades out, and then it fades in to a new life. So I'll jump straight in and show you how that's done. I'll go ahead and delete everything I have here, and we'll start this from scratch. and show you how it's done. So the first thing I put down was a predator and a predator, you can put whatever settings you want. It has an indicator. The indicator is to get rid of the symbol above its head when it's attacking. You just switch everything off and put zeros and that will get rid of the symbol. And then I add a speaker component. The speaker component detects the avatar in a small radius. So in this radius is three. So if the entity runs towards the avatar and it gets close, it's gonna send a message, kill avatar. If you go to global parameters and controller and components, you can see my instant def message is kill avatar. So it will kill the avatar. It will spawn to a tag called checkpoint and we've put the def delay as minus two. So the teleport happens instantly. Okay, let's move over to here. Here I've put in uh, a few uh, animated decorations on my entity with the attack animation. The attack animation is infinite and it plays as soon as the game starts. So when the teleport um, happens, they're already attacking you in this black room. They're not really attacking you, it's just the animated decoration. Uh, next I put down our avatar box. This is just a two by one box um, made in VoxEdit, uh, 32 by 64 voxels something to trap the avatar inside so it can't escape. And all I've done was put that as invisible, make sure the collisions are on. Next, we're gonna add a, a numpad, and a numpad has the checkpoint tag and a plant to say kill checkpoint. And you put that in the middle of the avatar box. This is where the avatar will teleport to uh, when it dies. Next, we add a speaker component. This speaker component, uh, we remove everything here. It detects the avatar in a small sphere. It just needs to detect the avatar in a box. And then we send a message to start timer. Okay, next we're gonna add a new numpad and we're gonna make this the timed event. This will be our sequence of events that happen. It will require a message. That message will be from this speaker when it detects the avatar, which is start timer we'll go ahead and put in start timer. We want it to be repeatable, so make sure reset is tricked to, uh, ticked to true. All right, we'll make that invisible and no collisions, so it can't be detected when the avatar's in this room. Awesome. After one second, we want to kill the spawner, so or kill checkpoint. So that would be this little tag in here, kill checkpoint on this plant. What we want to do is save that as a preset. So select the spawn point and create new. I've already made one and just call it spawner or whatever you need to. Done. We'll go ahead and put that in the middle of the box. Next, um, so that happens after one second. Next, we're going to add in our post processing effects, which causes the fade in and fade out. So press L on the keyboard go to logic and click on post processing asset. We'll put it on this side over here. We'll go ahead and we need to wait for a message. We'll make that message to fade out, but we actually want to make it post processing uh, fade. So this is the message that will uh, be triggered that will make it fade into uh, blackness slowly. Uh, next, we're going to go and do a custom profile. And in the custom profile, we're going to adjust the color adjustment all the way down to black or all zeros. Click apply. If you want to see what that looks like, you click preview and it's completely black. We'll restore and that will be our first effect. Um, we want to trigger this one, so we're going to go ahead and put down a numpad next to it. Uh, here we're going to use a message broadcaster. With the message broadcaster, we want to send a message post processing fade or post process fade. You'll notice a time bar pops up after you put that in. 
that's how many seconds you want to take for it to fade uh, from custom uh, so from default to the custom so two seconds uh, next we want to make it three range so it's just affecting this one asset and the message uh, we're going to wait for broadcast is we want to fade in we want to fade in the black and we'll put that in our timer so after one second it will kill the checkpoint we'll add a new timed event after two seconds we want to fade in and we'll go ahead and make this one invisible and no collisions and if we go ahead and test that out you'll see when we walk into our enemy it teleports us to the uh, portal and we're fading out and we're fading into black and nothing happens next we're gonna make it so it fades out so we're gonna grab these two assets and press Control D to duplicate them bring them on the other side over here for this post processing we're gonna change it from custom to default and this uh, message broadcaster instead of fade in it's gonna be fade out cool and because it takes two seconds um, after the fade in we want to do a fade out we'll make that uh, uh, say five seconds so if we go fade out we'll go ahead and test that now so we've been attacked it's fading in and then it fades back out obviously don't want to be in this room we want to be back in our uh, map so we need to kill the avatar so the next thing we're going to do here is while it's faded black so fade in on the two second mark takes two seconds which means four seconds it will be black so we'll make this one here six seconds and on the five second mark add new event five seconds we're going to kill the avatar Awesome. Because after one second we kill the checkpoint, we need a new checkpoint. So we'll go ahead and bring one over here. And over here I've got a asset spawner. You put this wherever you want the avatar to spawn to after it dies. Uh, you select our preset that we made earlier and we want to send a message add spawner. Uh, so we put that in our timed event before the kill happens so the kill avatar happens on five seconds let's say we um, spawn this out on three seconds so add spawner go to our timed event add timed event after three seconds we want to add spawner we'll go ahead and test that out now and see what happens so it fades it teleports us and then we fade back into the game. So that's how you uh, get the fade in, fade out effect for for this um, kill animation. One thing you want to adjust now that you got the basics here, you can adjust this as you need it. Uh, so, for instance, this here needs to be a asset spawner so we'll go ahead and make that an asset spawner make that zero we want to bring in a spawner and we'll say uh, new um, def spawn uh, checkpoint because it is a checkpoint and we'll put that inside of our box uh, we'll make sure that it is invisible and no collisions because the avatar will be sitting in there um, and we got this by default, the uh, checkpoint, but it will get killed as soon as the avatar teleports in here. And when the teleport comes back out into the map, we need something that will kill this checkpoint and bring out a new one here. So when the avatar dies again, it's not going to teleport back at this checkpoint. It needs to be back in here again. So what we can do for this case is that after the fade out so the avatar dies with kill avatar then we fade out what we can do is at the seven second mark we can again send a message kill 
checkpoint because that's what needs to be sent and that is what comes out from here as well uh, which is our preset if we go to our presets and bring that out this is what comes out of the asset spawner and it's kill checkpoint awesome so after we die and teleport we still have another timed event that kills this checkpoint then at add another event and then at the eight second mark we want to bring out the new checkpoint in this room uh, so it's ready for our next death and what we can do here is new death checkpoint so that's what we put in put in at the eight second mark so we'll say new death checkpoint and we'll keep this in here and we'll go ahead and test that out so we'll go up to our enemy it kills us if, it doesn't matter what area you look you put a black wall back there as well so you have one on each side oh, and we're back here again we'll come back to our enemy it kills us and we're back into this room again perfect so that's how you do it uh, the end result you want to duplicate this and have one on the other side as well and you want to seal it up with a black wall so it's completely black doesn't matter where you're looking inside the room um, and you can change the enemies in here if you have the, a different enemy that kills you you can have these come out with an asset spawner uh, based on the speaker message here um, you can be a bit creative with this idea and have different ways of dying or you can have multiple rooms um, whatever way you want to go uh, but I hope you'll let the base mechanics needed for a cool fade in fade out death animation F thanks for watching have a great day